Annie here. I'm the Digital Analytics Manager at Upper Media, and I'm here today to give you a quick explanation of why everyone is moving to Google Analytics 4 and show you a few use cases of GA4 specifically for SaaS companies. To give you a bit of background, in March of this year, Google announced that Universal Analytics properties will stop processing all data on the 1st of July 2023, making it pretty much compulsory to migrate to GA4 before then. So why is this happening? Well, to put it simply, GA4 is just a much more powerful analytics tool that works quite differently to Universal Analytics. But the main difference that you need to care about is that in GA4, everything is an event. Page views, session starts, page exits, events themselves, pretty much any action that the user takes on your site or app is now an event. And I'm pretty sure many businesses still haven't invested a lot of time into understanding GA4 or how they can leverage these new analytics capabilities. So let's dive straight in. I can go into all kinds of details about the new and improved technical capabilities of GA4, but I don't want to bore you with the details. So in this video specifically, we'll quickly go over some exploration reports, and I'll also talk a bit about audiences. So for the first time ever, Google is finally giving us the functionality to generate very powerful analyses completely for free. This feature was only available to paid users in Universal Analytics, and it's something that SaaS businesses have needed for a while. So. Let's try to answer a specific question, such as, what actions did the users take before some type of conversion? This question requires a path exploration report, which is quite similar to the Universal Analytics Behavior Flow report. And as you can see here in the template gallery, we actually have quite a few reports available that Google has pre-built for us. But let's take a look at this one specifically. At the moment, I'm in Google's demo GA4 property. And just by clicking on the path exploration report, we already get the pre-populated data to start exploring immediately. The first thing you might have noticed is that the event names are showing up up here instead of the page paths. And you can, of course, switch to page titles if you would like. But as I was mentioning earlier, since everything is an event, it actually becomes a lot easier to do path explorations now because of this smooth flow and transition between the events, the page views, the session starts. It's just a lot easier to understand how your users actually navigate through your site. And of course, it's a lot more interactive. As you can see, we can click on any note and I will expand it up to an additional four steps from the starting point. We can expand any of these and almost down to the individual. So you can see that it's really a lot more powerful than it used to be. But my personal favorite is that you can finally create a path exploration from the ending point. So here we can pick an event name or a page title, and I'm in the e-commerce property for uh, Google's merchandise store. So we actually have a lot of e-commerce data. Let's say we want to understand what actions or even pages contributed to this add to cart event. As you can see, it's just a lot easier to explore. It's extremely powerful, a lot more intuitive, and a lot more interactive than before. So it actually serves the purpose of what this report is supposed to be we're supposed to explore, and this is a path exploration report, and it makes this a lot easier for us. Now I'm gonna jump into a different account, and we're gonna take a look at this funnel report. So it's quite similar to Universal Analytics in terms of the funnel drop-offs, but it has a lot more functionality now. So let's say we're trying to find out what are the biggest drop-offs in someone starting a trial or creating an account. This, of course, doesn't have to be a trial. It can be a demo. It can be the onboarding steps of your app or pretty much any conversion you care about. You will need to define the steps manually, of course. So you can add the events, their parameters. You can specify whether the next step needs to be indirectly or directly followed. You can even specify the time within the next step needs to happen, which was not possible before. And of course, we get the completion rates of each step. We get the abandonment rates. We can even zoom in like this. And we can also enable to see the top five next actions. So these are the top five events that took place after this step. We can make it an open funnel so that the user can enter the funnel at any point. But my personal favorite is this elapsed time that we can enable here, which actually shows us how much time has elapsed on average between each step of the funnel. It's just so much more powerful and it really makes it easier to identify potential blockers in the funnel. But actually the best part is you can also connect your CRM data using the data import functionality. So you can finally fully understand the journey and the drop-offs of your MQLs, SQLs, or customers completely within GA4 itself. 
add web app analytics on top of that, and you have full coverage of how prospecting and current customers are interacting with your site and app. In fact, you can import pretty much any data captured in your CRM or any other tool to dig in deeper into revenue, churn, and any other metrics that are important to your business. Another part that I will quickly cover is audiences, which is actually tied to these exploration reports in the sense that you can create very specific audiences directly from each individual funnel drop-off. So for example, in this case, you can create a specific audience segment for first-time visitors who saw your trial or demo page but did not submit the form. And then you can click this button here to create an audience and use this audience in your Google Ads remarketing campaigns. Yes, it's actually that easy. But really, you can create an audience using absolutely any event or action that you want. And Google even suggests some segments pre-built here for you. Now, of course, to achieve such comprehensive reports and audiences, there's a lot of setup work that goes into ensuring the accuracy and quality of all the event data received by GA4. So if you don't want to bother figuring out all the details by yourself, that's actually the part that we're best at. All you need to do is tell us your business goals and how you want to use GA, and we take care of all the hard work so you can sit back and enjoy the insights.